Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is all about how to find happiness and it's all about mental health. Um, this month is wellness month. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, all month will be uh, wellness focused content. And if you've done the wellness month with me before, then welcome back. Um, today's video I have a special guest because Jason is going to be here. We are in uh, one of his friend's apartments and today we're going to talk a lot about happiness. So Jason and I often have like very deep conversations, long chats and we love to drink or my chat to get here. So I made a cup of tea and it's time for some serious talk. I just had to get ready for the video. <laughs> Welcome back. And we're on. And we're on. What does wellness mean to you? Wellness. Wellness is about figuring out what works for you. Um, understanding what makes you feel good, what's healthy. Finding the balance in your that life to be both inside yourself and outside yourself. Yeah, I think that's a good that's really good. I think, you know what it is? I think a lot of people always think like, oh, wellness, that's like very like female oriented, but it's very for, it. I mean, it's for everyone. I, mean, <laughs> I think, absolutely. you know, um, especially like mental, mental health. And I kind of wanted to do this video today as well, because we often think that when we have the perfect body, the perfect skin, the perfect makeup, like all these things would have, or like the most amazing food, all the things would have to do with wellness that we will be happy and that we will feel comfortable and that we will feel good. I think this is really not true because you can have all of that. If your mental state of mind is not good, you're not gonna feel happy or be happy. I think a lot of times it comes from like, you wanna be intrinsically basing your feelings to move outside of yourself and so like if you're yeah. feeling good getting towards those goals and your and your goals are based on those feelings then you're going to embody them as you're on the process but if you think you're going to get the feelings after achieving the goal and everything's going to come after you're never going to get them you're never going to get it and um i mean it's a hard question with like you know how 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 to be happy i feel they're like thousands of bucks but you're not gonna you're not gonna get it out of a book and there's not even a quick fix or like one answer like how you can be happy but i do think there are a lot of things you can do and things you can think about to kind of train yourself in how to be happy um i was listening to this podcast from delicious ella she actually has really good like wellness stuff and they were like interviewing this uh this monk who actually was a normal guy before and he used to live in New York and they were also saying that you kind of like happiness is a choice and I really really agree with that and I feel this is something what I've done personally in my life a lot whenever bad situations happened or like hard situations I was like okay there are two things I can do I can worry about it and I can fix it so immediately action to fix the problem or I get over it and I just continue. Like I either choose one of them and I try to not just like stick with the problem, think about it, come back to it, like kind of, yeah, problem solving or just not ignoring it or stepping, stepping over it. Stepping through it. Stepping through it, through it. and not it like, try, I didn't like to stick with that same problem and just taking it everywhere and like not moving forward on it. Yeah. And I feel, that for me was very much choosing. Oh, oh that was the dead plant. <laughs> choosing my happy, choosing my happiness. Yeah. That in, in those moments, I was choosing like my happiness. Like, okay, am I gonna like feel bad about this? Am I gonna hold on to this, or am I just gonna like try to do something about it? It's gonna try to make me feel better. Right. I think I think the way that uh, or the exercise that I kind of like to do. Um, which can end up turning into like a really strong belief is that, you know, we always hear 
oh, you know, it's the way you look at it or, you know, put it through a positive lens. And a lot of times it's like really, really tough to do that because when you're associated into your feelings of what that situation is, you've already assigned the meaning it, it is to you. Yeah. And so when you assign that meaning in the moment, you keep revisiting that over and over again as you replay that experience in your mind. And like that association keeps you fixated and keeps you focusing on it into the future. And when you're able to kind of take a breath, step away from yourself and see the situation almost from a third person point of view, you're really able to go back in and maybe see that you can look at it in a different way. You can change the perspective and you can change the meaning. And when you change the meaning of something like that, all of a sudden you're all freed up to move forward. To move forward, yeah. And I think also we, uh, I think this is kind of what well, all humans do, that we really base our happiness a lot on the people around us. Yeah. Um, it's very much about, like relationships really play a big part in our lives, but also very often our unhappiness have to do with relationships. And I think it is also important to um, try or to practice to base that like happiness on your own, like on your own value, like with yourself and what you like to do, and what you want to reach instead of doing that on other people. Because at the end, it's also it's your life. Yeah. And you have to live with it. <laughs> Absolutely. Way. And it's really important to like feel special. I think yeah. everyone wants to feel special. You want to feel unique. You want to feel different. And a lot of times when we're in relationships, you know, we get into relationships being that special person and we're, you know, noticing what's special in our partner and what we love about them. And then as you get closer and closer together, if the communication goes down and you start melding into each other, all of a sudden, you know, it's like, wait, am I special still? Or am I just doing what, what you want to do? Am yeah. I communicating that? And it's really important to, to feel those feel those feelings and talk about them and really be able to still identify with yourself and identify with the relationship. Yeah, that is very, very true. I think also like, I mean, when I'm alone, actually, I start to overthink a lot as well, too. I think this is like a lot of, which is sometimes really good because um, it's also kind of like a little kind of meditation for me. This is like something I do. Um, so I haven't really been like into meditation like a lot i've tried it a couple times or like yoga but i do notice that for me for example taking a walk somewhere just alone to go somewhere um really helps me uh it's that is kind of like meditation for me and in those moments i'm just going through my thoughts like very like my very mindfulness and i try to like not gravitate to like the, my negative thoughts and i think this is something you can really like train and try to do to take a moment and to just try like okay now i'm just going to focus on my thoughts but not going in there with a negative perspective yeah i i think that's amazing i yeah. when you said that like it immediately made, made me think of the fact that like when things happen to me uh, a lot of times i'm like not processing the feelings i'm maybe giving my chance like myself a chance to like really mm -hmm. process it and sometimes i just have to like sit by myself and like try to write out what those feelings are and like why I'm feeling that way. Otherwise, I see I see Jason now uh, like every morning <laughs> in this big in this big planner book yeah. writing stuff down. But it really helps for you, right? Yeah, just it, it just gives yeah. me like a little bit of direction. It, it makes me feel like okay, like I'm doing some kind of processing so that it doesn't like boil over. And then two weeks later, I'm like jammed or I feel stuck and I like I don't know what to do and I can't find the root of it anymore. And, and it's usually because I just let all these like little things build up and just like didn't take any time to process them. Didn't give myself any space to just like really do me. And um, yeah. yeah, it's, it's, and I, I mean, need to, we like, have keep more that. than like 60,000 thoughts in like a day. Yeah. So just, just think, just think about that. You have, I think like seven dreams going on. Like there's a lot going on in, in, in their brain. So actually like writing it down and like, I think that, might be your made it, yeah. Yeah, it's like, form it's like my meditation. Of like form of meditation, and you kind of like going over it. And I think it's, that is very important too that your happiness is not, it's really not based on like what you have and yeah, how you look. It's like your state, state of mind. State of mind, and also, and also just like the perspective 
of like what's that lens that you're looking through it and how large is the depth in it it's yeah. like one of the things i do in that journal is like the, the well the journal's called the panda planner so it's a little <laughs> I didn't panda planner, name the panda planner. Um, it's the cutest thing ever <laughs> my brother introduced it to me and it uh it has a monthly weekly and daily cut out yeah that you fill in on your own and my favorite part about the daily cutout is the beginning of each day you have to write three things that you're gracious for yeah. and forcing forcing myself to like write those things gives I like that. it just gives me a space to be like okay like I'm really happy some days about just having hot water or like feeling the heat because <laughs> I just love the heat yeah oh my god I kid you not guys this apartment it's toasty it's so warm I'm so like nice. actually you're in this like linen thing I'm like dying but it's really warm like we love to like put the heat on but <laughs> very grateful for that and happy about it jump on the couch and get into yeah. like a really nice little yeah. ball uh yeah and just like and just like really appreciating that and then the things that happen during the day they just they just don't feel as heavy anymore so uh, it's really nice. I think that goes a long way into like what feels good, and True. and and overall, like I'm probably gonna be a little happier that day because of it, without even knowing that I had already created well, space because of it. Yeah. yeah. And you don't like when you hear the word like journaling. I think a lot of people are like, oh, I don't wanna like write so much down, or like oh, I can't keep consistent, or I can't keep consistent with that uh, but this is the thing if even if you write down three sentences which is barely anything just first thing in the morning that really kind of like sets the mood and your tensions of the day and that can help like a lot um, actually I grew up with uh, like my mother kind of did the, the same thing but she did it at the end of the day as a more like a reflection thing so after she read something to me, she would ask what was the most fun of today and what was the least fun of today. So I was just really like, oh yeah, so today the most fun was I was hanging out with my friends and uh, we played a game and I won. My least fun of the day could be I was biking in the rain and start like pouring rain or whatever. Or could be something like, oh yeah, I got a bit in an argument with someone, didn't really like it. But when you, when you just at the end of the day, just think about it, what was the best thing of today and what is the worst thing of today? Then it kind of like benefits a bit. Or yeah, like it's, it, it, it gives you uh, like a measure to see like, oh, okay, like I really had a good part. I'm gonna recognize this. You're gonna process your emotions through yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So that's like kind of also thing what you can do like more at the end of the day where you like reflect it a little bit uh, or in the morning where you kind of like, start your start your fresh day for me also um waking up early has been i it's really hard because i really love to sleep um but that waking up early kind of before everyone is awake that kind of like silence and do my own thing that really like makes me in like a happy happy mood because i feel like i can have that like fresh start of the day that's nice uh I totally agree with you. It happens rarely for me. I know guys, it's so hard. It's so hard, but just like try it out. Try it out. I think with I think with like a a lot of a lot of the things that that can really help. You know, you hear them, you hear a lot of them, and they're so easy to do in your mind, but the fact that they're so easy makes them so hard because they're so easy not to Yeah, because you're just like, oh, whatever. And, and yeah. it's almost like, eh, it, it's so easy and it's so quick, it, it won't matter. And like, you, you can try to do that and then you stop because you don't see results or you don't feel it, but it happens just from doing it like something so small yeah. every day consistently for a while. Maybe, shall we do a challenge this week with everyone? I'm up for it. Okay, let's... Um, right. Maybe every day, write one thing you're like grateful for or excited for every morning. So, what if we share this on Instagram every day from the, the, the day the video is posted? We will share on Instagram what we were grateful for, what we're excited for that day. Amazing. We will write it on our stories on Instagram, and then we hope that you guys follow along and just try to do this with us for at least like a week. 
and it's it's very easy start very small you don't have to start like all these tips to do this immediately but i think that will be like fun to kind of do together just i love it i love the, i love the accountability yeah <sighs> keep each other accountable i think this is also uh i mean now we're actually using social media too as kind of a way to connect which i find very like uh, fun and for me that has been my biggest goal of the whole channel as well to um to connect with everyone and build this kind of like safe community but i also i'm very aware of kind of the negative effects of social media and with what has to do with like happiness because even i noticed it a couple times over the holidays you know i was like free all day whatever and at one point i just noticed that every time if i did not really have anything to do i grabbed my phone yeah whenever like yeah and i was like why do i ever why do i do that there is nothing going on there which is actually what i don't even care that much what is on instagram or whatever but but i still like I keep looking at it and this year um i i didn't go away for like the holidays or whatever or i didn't have new year's plans and at one point i just felt a little bit i was the 31st of december and i just felt a little bit like Mm, a little sad inside me you know it's like oh i don't have anything like i don't have anything planned you know like mm. Mm, why not and then i see this already like you know asia is already ahead i see the fireworks and everything and i'm like hmm but then at one point i was like why am i like why am i like i'm feeling sad literally of stuff i see online and i'm like i'm having such a blast right now with like family with mice we had like food and it was just so nice that I, and i was like there are hundreds of moments throughout the year where i celebrate new beginnings and everything yeah. you know that i was like it's pure what the society makes out of it yeah. and then immediately i was just like you know what let's just put my phone away um but it's fine to do sometimes like a social media detox as well like just try to just not one night like not put your phone there even if you want to watch something or whatever, fine, but just don't look at your phone. Just like disconnect to later on reconnect. You know what I really love what you said there? Uh, I think the fact that you asked yourself why is like one of the hardest things and one of the best parts about being able to take an action after it. Because like when I, I go on social media, you know, it's become such a reflex. Yeah. And you don't you don't really want to know why you're going there. We don't want to see that part of ourselves. We don't want to really know like, do we need someone's approval? Do we want to feel like someone liked something that we did or like? But we're taking it for a reason. And when we look at it, we're looking for something. We're we're trying to find or make up or feel something out of it. And sometimes yeah. it's as simple as trying to figure out like, why did I pick it up right now? Um, and I had a, I had a, a moment like this a couple a couple weeks ago where I picked it up uh, and it was pretty late at night and I was like, like, why did I just pick this up right now? And I was like, oh, like I'm pretty lonely, like in this moment, and like I'm I'm looking for something because I put it down and I picked it back up again. I put it down and I picked it back up again. Yeah. And then there's nothing going on. It's and like the reflex. Okay. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, let me just check out YouTube and I'll watch some videos. And I'm like, but I I just don't want to I don't want to see myself feeling that way and like that was my truth in that moment that I I, I felt lonely mm -hmm. and when I really look at it there are so many better options that I could have taken like yeah. call we, up have, we have friends, friends in all these different time zones and like yeah. call up somebody someone's awake someone yeah. someone might have a conversation with you um, maybe do like an activity maybe write down what's going on but instead it was just so easy for me to take my phone and I, I kept I kept picking it up and I was like, wow, like I'm really like I'm really feeling it and I don't wanna see I don't wanna see the truth yeah. right now. It's like, kinda of crazy I, then because we were blaming then the social media for our unhappiness, but if you really think about it where the the unhappiness is coming from, it's already prior. <laughs> like there is yeah. already something there. <laughs> why you gravitate to yeah you gravitate to that that's really interesting i never really thought about like because even when i realize now yes i ask myself why do i feel this like little sadness i couldn't even like i couldn't even like answer it completely i was like because i see people have wilder plans than i have and i was like so i can have if i want to a wild 
well next week like yeah. it's yeah. yeah like literally like it's a weird thing how how we how we how we do that and how we like approach that so i think this could be a good job to do um from time to time just to not yeah always look on social media or whatever and i think it's also very important that um social media also has a huge filter uh i try to make my videos as most like realistic as possible and i really want to share everything with you guys but also a lot of stuff i see and especially in the industry i work in which is fashion which is a lot of like glamorous and everything from the outside there's always another side of the story and i think this is very important that you always need to think about that whatever person you're looking at every person believe me is going through something yeah. even if they don't show it even if you don't know it even every celebrity every person you yeah you see or you inspire so you, like Absolutely. there is always another side of the story and i think that's something you just always like have to keep in mind yeah i agree so next time jason if you feel like you come yeah <laughs> And next time I want to do something wild for New Year's, I'm going to come back to New York. That's a deal. That's a deal. That's a deal. Um, well, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Um, while we're sitting here, I'm like, we should start doing this podcast idea. I would love to. Yeah, well, let's move first to the apartment then and see if we can like set something up that would be very nice. Um, and then something else, maybe at the end of this wellness month, I want to do uh, meditation like meet and greet in, in LA, where we're going to do like a guided meditation. I don't have all the details yet and I'm not sure if we can work it out. But please take a look at the comments down below and in the description where I will update more information. And I will also do this on my Instagram stories. So don't forget to follow me. Don't forget to follow Jason as well. And if you have any questions for me or for Jason about happiness, about life, about... Anything. Anything. Matcha. Then let us know and we will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.